excited to be here with you today. I love these Inspire Business Cafes. Um, I always get a little bit crazy beforehand, but you know what? Crazy is good in my world. Uh, there's a lot of adrenaline that happens before these calls and webinars. And there's a lot of, I want to teach to you. And so we do these open to the public once a month. Uh, it's always the first of every month. Um, now it's on Tuesday. We did do them on Wednesdays for a long time, but we've moved them. They're the first Tuesday of every month. Um, welcome if this is your first one. Uh, we've got some new people, I think, here in the room. Uh, but let me go ahead and um, get us prayed up and uh, dive in so we can do some introductions and then dive into the material. All right. Father God, thank you, thank you, thank you for this opportunity to come together um, in a small little huddle today. But Lord, we know that many, many other people will be watching this video on YouTube after we get it posted. Lord, help us to be a blessing. Help us to be a vessel. Help me to say whatever you, you want me to say today. Help me to peel off the mask. Help me to be authentic about who I am and who you, you've created me to be and all that I've had to release and let go of and surrender over these years. Um, so Lord, I just pray over this time. I thank you for every woman here. I pray over her family, her business, her finances. I pray over her um, her dreams, her, her big goals and dreams. And Lord, I pray that she will look at her time closely today and see what needs to stop so that she can add more things in that are honoring to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Uh, so welcome, welcome. Um, we are going to do some introductions here. Let me tell you who I am. Hello, hello. Uh, that's me looking like a cuckoo bird <laughs> um, because that's who I am. Whoops. Um, I am the president and founder. My name is Diane Cunningham, and I'm the president and founder of the National Association of Christian Women Entrepreneurs. There are many of our members are here in the room. There's only a few people here that aren't. Um, if you're not a member yet, you're going to want to come and join us as a member. Um, and if you already are a member and you love NACWI, go ahead and type that into the chat box now, uh, maybe why you love it. That would be great. Some of you are new members. Some of you have been around a long time. We've got Deidre that's dialing in from Germany. We've got uh, Paula from Houston. We've got Veronica from the Dallas area. We've got Sabrina from Alabama. Um, Jill, welcome. Um, and I'm a coach, a mentor, an author of five books now. I'm used to saying four, but five books. Wow, uh, I'm a fun friend. I'm addicted to coffee. Cheers. Uh, I'm a leader. Uh, I'm a woman of God. I'm a risk taker. And um, I really am glad that I'm a speaker because now I've learned to use that to help other people. Uh, and I'm a teacher and a connector. And I'm a Be Brave Today girl. Um, and I'll explain to you more about what that means here in just a minute. Um, but I want to hear about who you are. Uh, this is me last summer acting like a um, fun kooky woman like I do when I walked into Starbucks and they were having some Hawaiian gathering and I just thought well this is great let's just try to step on why not you know why not anyway um, who are you um hi Jan yay uh, so who are you uh, we want to get to know each other and um, there's some of you that are here for the first time Veronica's here for the first time Jill I don't know if I I've ever met you before um, but we want to know who you are so here's what we need we need you to tell us your name your fan page, where are you located? Uh, because what we do here on this call is we do a lot of connections. And again, uh, we, re we record this call and this webinar and we get it uploaded to YouTube within ba basically an hour after uh, we finish and we dial out. We get it on YouTube and we put it out there to the whole wide world. Um, so please promote yourself. Promote yourself. Uh, they will be reading this, seeing this. Uh, thank you, Sabrina. Uh, so go ahead and type in there now. Uh, welcome, Jill. Jill, uh, is this your first time here on a uh, Inspired Business Cafe? Um, I think it might be, unless I've missed you somehow. Um, so we're going to be doing networking throughout the webinar. I want you to connect with your sisters in Christ. Um, we have free cafe calls the first Tuesday of every month. Look at that. I uh, I always um, enjoy that I make mistakes in every single one of these. And, and here's my first mistake of the uh, training for today. I didn't update this slide. Whoopsie! Hello! Uh, guess what? Have you made any mistakes today? I hope you have. I hope you've made some mistakes today. And I hope you do them publicly. Okay? I hope that you get over yourself. Uh, so the next one is not February 3rd because that's today. The next one is March 3rd. That, so that will be the next open Inspired Business Cafe. And you know what? If you can make mistakes, you're going to build your business way faster. 
hint, hint. Uh, get over yourself. Make mistakes. Who's willing? I, I just want to, I'm going to do a lot of interaction here. Um, who's willing to make some mistakes? Who's willing to make some mistakes in order to go ahead and go where God needs you to go? Are you willing to make a mistake? Are you willing to be imperfect? Because guess what? You're not perfect. And, you know, the more we try to be all bound up, the more bound up we get. The more bound up we get. So release it. I, I'm, You know, I get kicked off. Like, if I get kicked off the webinar, just warning you, if I get kicked off the webinar, guess what? I'm going to dial back in. You know, and I just pray that you're going to still be here. Hallelujah. I hope you will. Um, so just get over yourself. Enjoy life. Uh, celebrate what you're doing and connect. Okay, let's do some announcements and reminders so I can get into the meat. Uh, we have every month we have a, an expert that I bring in that's on the monthly topic. So the topic for this month is time. And we have our very own Michelle Prince. Very excited to have her coming back. She's a Zig Ziglar trained and, and certified speaker. She's awesome. She was, a, um, she was a speaker at our first NACWI conference. She's been a speaker for us um, pretty much every year. And she's going to be teaching uh, bi about busy being busy, how to stop juggling, overcome procrastination, and get more done in less time. So um, you're going to want to join us as a member so that you can be a part of this training call with Michelle later this month. Uh, I want to thank you. Uh, we just finished. If you're a part of the Rock Bottom book launch, if you're a part of Rock Bottom, uh, and you are a rock bottom author. I know some of you are here in the room. Thank you uh, for being uh, so vulnerable and transparent. We had a thousand, uh, a thousand and twenty books downloaded for free last week. Okay, a thousand and twenty books were downloaded for free last week, and um, it was amazing. And so we thank you, thank you. We became Amazon bestsellers again. Sabrina was a part of the book. Thanks, Deidre. Um, and we all shared our stories, so I just wanted to publicly say thank you for those of you that helped us spread the word. Um, guess what? We're, we're going to be getting ready to do rock bottom number three, um, and I'll be um, enrolling people into that in a few months, uh, probably at our conference. So rock bottom is a beautiful place because it leads to transformation. It leads to transformation, okay? Um, I want to just a couple more announcements. We have our national conference. This is this is more than just a national conference. This is an experience because we've been we we're celebrating five years. Um, I don't know about you, but having a business is a challenge, and it's going to bring up every issue you've ever had. Uh, just FYI. Um, and so, if you're not ready for that, well, gear yourself up. But our conference is May 14th, 15th, and 16th. It's here in the Irving area, right next to the DFW airport. And many of you in the room already have your ticket. Yay. Um, but basically, we're going to be doing training on how to blaze a trail. What does that mean? Well, it means a lot of things. Because as a business owner, you're going to have to blaze the trail for the people coming behind you. You're going to have to deal with people that are um, distractions to you. You're going to have to deal with haters. Uh, you're going to have to deal with hate mail. I just got some recently. You're going to have to deal with... Um, uh, uh, building a team, you're going to have to deal with how how are you going to enroll people in your programs, okay? You're going to have to step up, and you're going to have to hold that torch. If the torch is going to be heavy sometimes. The torch is going to, you're going to want to hand it off. Well, you're going to need to learn how to hand it off and create a plan for that, okay? So we're going to be teaching on all of that, leadership skills, entrepreneurial challenges. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to teach you how to do a book launch. I'm going to teach you how to create high priced programs, okay? Uh, lots and lots of things that we're going to be teaching. We're going to have table topics where we bring in all the leaders to teach as well. So um, if you already have your ticket, go ahead and type into the box and let us know. The tickets are on sale now. Blaze the Trail, $397. Uh, you can do two payments for Early Bird or you can become a sponsor. Um, we've got some of our sponsors in the room, uh, Elizabeth, Jan, uh, Debbie Saviano and Dominic, and uh, we're going to be celebrating that we've been in business for five years. Very cool. Um, next announcement. Uh, actually, I want to go back to this one. If you become a member of NACWI, in fact, um, recently Veronica just did this, you can get your NACWI membership and a ticket. Here's, here's the cool thing. NACWI membership and a ticket to the conference for $4.97. Hi, Edith. Yay. Um, yes, indeed. So Edith did that. Veronica did that. So if you're not a member of NACWI, uh, it's time.
to kind of do a combo pack. You get your conference ticket, you get your one-year membership. It's a great, 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 great deal. So that's what these women have been doing. Uh, welcome, Edith. So glad that you're here with us. I think, has anybody else joined us on the call? Um, yay, yay, yay. Okay, so enough of that. And then here's what, I'm going to be announcing this big later today, but you guys are the first to hear, okay? Um, BeBraveToday.com. BeBraveToday.com. I'm doing a five-day challenge. It starts next Monday. This is open to the public. I need you to spread the message for me, okay? I need you to, uh, we're going to basically invite all these women from all over that need some brave. I don't know about you, but I need more brave. Brave, brave, brave. Bring it on. Come on, come on. So I'm going to ask you to help me. So go get signed up yourself, BeBraveToday.com. Um, you're going to get an email right away. You're going to get an email starting more. I'm going to add you to the private group. I'm very excited about this. You're going to be seeing a lot more of me posting out about this later today. Uh, so you guys are the first to find out, okay? All right. You guys ready? I want you to make sure you have paper. If you're going to be here, you better take notes, okay? So um, I'm going to be teaching, coaching. There's going to be a lot on the screen. Uh, I don't know about you, but if I'm not um, taking notes, then I'm not learning in the way that I need to learn. So um, let's talk about this. The truth about time, tidying, and transformation as an entrepreneur. I've got things to show you. I've got books to share. I've got props. I've got stuff. You guys ready? Who's ready to hear some things about time and, and truth and tidying and transformation? Lots of T's. Lots of T's. Are you guys ready? I need some amen, and I need you to interact with me here. Okay? So I um, need some interaction. Hello? Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so guess what? We believe in God here. And praise, you know, praise the Lord that we can talk about God and marketing and conferences and Blazing the Trail all in the same conversation. God's perfect timing. Uh, I believe that he knows intricately, and I was reminded of that this morning. He knows where you are. He knows what you need. You're never lost. You are never lost. Amen, sisters. Amen. He knows who you are, where you are, what you need. He knows your bank account. He knows your husband. He knows your children. He knows whether you don't have a husband. He knows, I mean, he knows every hair on your head. He knows, he, he has your name tattooed on the palm of his hand. He knows everything that you're praying over, everything that keeps you awake at night. God's timing is perfect. And do you believe that God's timing is perfect for your business? Let's get it. Let's, I want to hear the truth. Do you believe that God is, is, cares about your business? Do you believe that he's given you the gift of a business? Here's what I know, and I hear what I've been preaching long before I created NACWI, is that God gave me the gift of a business. It's my, if I don't, it's like holding it, I mean, he's given me this gift. This is long before there was ever a NACWI, five years ago. He, I was a speaker. I was a life coach. God uh, redeemed me from losing my counseling career, and he gave me the gift of a business, and it was, it's been my job. I've never, he's never given me the gift of a child. I don't have a baby. I don't have any children. But he's given me the gift of a, a business baby. Uh, so he's given me a baby business. <laughs> okay, I'm out of control. So just, just bear with me. But it's my job to do everything I can with that business baby, to, to, build, to nurture my business baby, to grow it, to give it love, uh, to, to feed it, to help it, to coach it, to get, to get it to trainings. You know, my, my business baby has to go to school, right? My business baby has to take some rest. My business baby needs a coach. Okay, so um, hopefully, I mean, this, I mean, I'm kind of taking this to the extreme, but I, I hope it makes sense to you. Okay, yeah, my, your baby needs changing. <laughs> baby. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. You guys are, uh, you guys are on track with me. But we've got to take care of our business baby, and our baby's business baby sometimes needs a nap. Sometimes it needs a timeout. Sometimes it needs to go to the playground. Hello? It needs to go to the playground. Okay? Um, yes, and it will make you want to pull your hair out. Um, and so, um, truly, we all have 24 hours. We all have one day at a time. Okay, let's get into this. And I'm going to just teach and preach here. Teach and preach. Guess what? You have the same. You've got 24 hours. So do I. Um, you know, we all have different circumstances. Like I said, I'm not married and I don't have children. You might have 10 kids. I don't know. You might have one. You might have five. I don't know how many kids you have. I don't know if you have a husband or not. I don't know if you have your whole family living with you. All I know is we each get 24 hours. Okay? Do you understand that? You have 24 and I have 24. I, we each have one day at a time. 
Yeah, what would happen if you just began to build your business one day at a time? You know, I think oftentimes we live in the past and we're living in the future. Okay? We're living in the past or the future. We're freaked out. We're overwhelmed. We're, we're like having a breakdown out of fear. Then over here, we're having regrets. We're having resentments. We're all this like yucky, yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay? And that's a technical term. Yucky, yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay? So every, um, everybody gets this one day. And I have learned this so very clearly. You all know, most of you know, my uh, sobriety story and my rock bottom. I've written a book about it. It's on YouTube. If you've missed it, uh, if you just came in the loop, well, guess what? Go to Rock Bottom is a beautiful place. I have been sober since June 19th of 2013. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, guess what? How do I do that? I do that one day at a time. That's how I build a business. That's how I exercise. That's how we eat food. That's how we, we, we learn things. That's how you have, a, you have a baby. You take care of your baby one day at a time, right? You can't get your baby to college. If the baby is right here, your baby needs to be taken care of, okay? Uh, so one day at a time, one day at a time, 24 hours. So we're going to get more into this, but I want you to really just, just hear that very clearly. Um, when you first start in, an, in a 12-step recovery program, and I've, I've shared this before, but I'm going to say it again, because I'm very transparent, very transparent here, and I do that for a reason. If you're here for the first time and, and you've never heard me speak well, um, hold on to your britches because, I mean, I, I put it all out there because why not? If I can help one woman, here's the truth, ladies, and it gets me emotional. Uh, right here on my bulletin board behind here, I have the name of a woman, and she's about to hit one year sobriety, and it's because I was public with my message, and one of our NACWE members was on a vacation, and she met a woman who told her that she thought she was an alcoholic, and, and our, our lady came back and said, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help this person. And I said, you know what? I can talk to her. I can, I can share some experience, strength, and hope. I talked to this woman on the phone. We've talked many, many times. She's about to hit one year of sobriety. You know what? I keep her name right here because, you know, that's why. Okay? That's why. That's why it matters to me. That's why it's important that we share our message. If I can help one woman then I have done my job for today, okay? I mean, I'm about ready to burst into tears. If I can help one woman by, by pulling off my mask and saying, you know what, it's not perfect over here. Um, it, you know, the, the, everything's a mess. So, you know, it's, it's a mess out there. And, but you know what, I'm, I am redeemed. There's grace. God knows who I am. God knows. God knows exactly who I am. Okay, so I, and when you first start into recovery, this is what I was trying to say, and I want to say it very clearly here, they, they make a lot of suggestions. You know what? It's up to me whether I'm going to do anything. It's up to you whether you're going to do anything with your business. I can't force you, chase you, hunt you down. I can't make you get a coach. I can't make you um, offer a program. I can't make you do a webinar. I can't make you speak. can't make you do anything. I have no control over you. No control over people, places, and things. Um, I can do. I can only control what I do right here, okay? But when you first get into a 12-step program, they suggest you get a sponsor. That person's going to kind of walk with you side by side, help you, and they suggest you do 90 meetings in 90 days. Now, when you first hear this, you kind of freak out, okay? I want you to just uh, understand. We all just freak out when we hear that because, you know, 90 meetings in 90 days, every AA meeting that I go to is an hour long. Okay, so you panic, you panic, well, I don't, and you think, here's what you think, I don't have time for that. Okay, that's what we, that's what I mistakenly thought. Um, yes, I did have time for that, and here's why. I used to drink every single night, um, and I would, I had time for that. I had time for that, didn't I? So you, you have to decide your priorities, what is important to you, and what are you going to do to, to make it happen. Okay, and, and I don't know if I'm making you uncomfortable right now, but I hope I am. I hope I'm making you uncomfortable. Part of time is boundaries, and I'm going to be re referencing um, some pieces. Uh, most of you have this book, the Inspired Business Toolkit, um, and uh, I'm going to be talking about things from the, uh, there's a chapter in here that's all about time, so if you don't have this book, get it. Uh, I have copies of it here. Um, you can get an autographed one, or you can uh, purchase it on Amazon. Um, but boundaries, 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 boundaries. Uh, yes, Jan, it is. 
Um, you, I can go to one at noon today. I could go to one tonight at 7.30. There's meetings everywhere. So you, and there's meetings online. There's meetings everywhere. Um, so same thing with your business. You will find what you're looking for. You will find what you're looking for. Yeah, Edith, I'll get you an autographed copy, sister. Boundaries. Okay, so here's what I want you to hear. Boundaries are important. That means where you end and where somebody else begins. Okay, boundaries are something I began learning way back when I was a counselor. So yes, I was a counselor, a master's degree, counseling in an office, and many of you have heard my story, but I lost my counseling career because a man killed himself and I was sued and I walked through the lawsuit related to that. Okay, well boundaries are important and there's a whole section in here on that. Boundaries, you've got to have them for your business. <clears throat> you've got to have boundaries for your business. A boundary is a border or a limit or the point at which something ends. Boundaries affect our relationships, our bodies, our food, our time, and much more. There's a great book by, uh, called Boundaries uh, by Dr. Henry Cloud and John Townsend. Um, I always jokingly say that my mother, ex-mother-in-law sent it to me twice as a gift, and I was thinking, I already have a copy. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need any more copies, but she kept sending it to me. Um, but boundaries are going to save, either going to make or break your relationship. You're going to make or break your, break your business. Now, let me give you a business example. Some people, uh, here's a Facebook business example. Uh, guess what? Facebook is on all the time. Your website is on all the time. You don't have to reply. Let's, let me get very, very clear here. When people send me Facebook messages about with a business question uh, at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, um, guess what? I'm not going to reply. And if they get upset that I've, you can see that somebody has read your message, I just think, you know what, I'm in the bathtub, people. It's 10 o'clock. I'm in the bathtub. And um, I'm going to reply during tomorrow when, it's, uh, when I'm at my office again, when I'm working again. You do not have to work all the time. Please, please, set a boundary. Set a boundary. You do not have to work all the time. And if you do work all the time, you're setting yourself up for complete disaster, complete failure, and complete burnout. Because they will use you until you are wiped clean. Okay, I need you to hear that. They will use you until you're wiped clean. And, you, and I'm going to be real honest here. There's times where I feel like everybody wants a piece of me. Everybody wants a piece of me. Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever feel like uh, everybody wants a piece of you? Your, your, your people you love, the people out there, the people over here. Well, you know what? We've got to close down the shop. We've got to close down the shop. We've got to say, no, you know, I'm off today. I'm, turn, I'm, I'm, I'm going off today. We've got to set those boundaries. So there's lots more about this. Physical boundaries, mental, emotional, spiritual. Um, you got, am I still here with you guys? I just got kicked off of my iPad, but hopefully I'm still live and going, out, going after it. Can you guys still hear me? Are we still good on the, on the audio and video? Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into the next thing because I've got a lot of te to teach and we're, we're still at the very beginning here. Awareness, okay? Awareness. We have got to have awareness because you know what? It's not, your, it's not Deidre's responsibility to set boundaries for me, okay? Um, because if, if I don't, and she can't read my mind, okay? There's a lot of mind reading that we assume needs to happen and guess what? That's really, really, um, nobody, else, nobody else can read our mind. Nobody else can read our mind. We have to be aware of our own self, and we have to learn. See, there's like a, a scale here. We've got to be aware of our own, um, our own time needs, our own relationship needs, our own sleep needs, our own food needs, our own needs. We have to be aware. You know, we're not 12 years old. We're not 12 years old. Can you guys still hear me and see me? Sabrina says I'm frozen up. Um, I just want to make sure everything's okay. Can you guys see me, hear me? Edith says yes. Deidre says yes. Okay. Hopefully, um, hi, Jill. Um, hopefully, we can get Sabrina back. But it, it's not my job to read your mind and know what you need and, and assume what you need. And really, that leads us into a whole lot of insanity. Insanity. Um, be aware of your own self. Ask for what you need. That's what grown-ups do. Grown-ups ask for what they need. And they trust that, you know what, I, I could ask Jan for what I need. She, she might not be able to provide it. She might not be able to provide what I need, but she will certainly not be able to provide it if I don't ask her. Amen? Um, if, if I don't ask her for what I need, then how would she even possibly know? And then if I end up feeling resentful, here's a very important word. Somebody, if you could type this in for me. 
you have to be very cautious about resentments. Resentments will kill your relationships. They will kill your business. They will kill your serenity. They will kill your sanity. And they will kill lots of things. Resentment is basically festered and, and un, um, it's expectations that turn into resentments. Because you know what? If I expect something of Jan and I have never told her, and then I get mad because she didn't do it, um, just it leads into this giant loop, giant loop, okay? Be cautious of those resentments. Be aware of your own, um, your own boundaries. Be aware of your business boundaries. All right, let's talk about the power of yes. What does the Bible say? Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Amen? Who can quote the verse for me? Where is the verse? Hold on. Hold, hold. Hold, please. <laughs> Here we go. The power of yes and the power of no. Power of yes and the power of no. No is a complete sentence, my friends. We're going to talk about yes first. Um, there's a lot of things that I have had to be brave. Uh, the reason we're talking about being brave, thank you, Edith, Power of yes. Uh, you, if you don't know what your yes is and what your no is, guess what? You, leave, you go into vague. And vague ends up being not very pretty. Okay? So there's a power of saying yes in your business because, you know, I've said yes to lots of things that scare me to death the, over the last years. I've said yes to coaching programs. I've said, said yes to having a giant conference. Um, many of you came to it last year. Many of you are going to come to it this year. I've had to sign contracts for thousands of dollars to say yes to. I said yes to moving into this home. I said yes to moving to Dallas. I said yes to purchasing a vehicle. I've said yes to lots of things. You know what? Some yeses that you're going to say yes to are you're going to learn by your mistake. Okay? And there's other yeses that you're going to learn by the miracles that come. And guess what? We've got to walk through. We've got to go forward. We've got to say yes. Okay, my nose is starting to run. Excuse me. <laughs> Woo! It's embarrassing. Oh, whatever. Okay, so there's a little checkbox that we've got to begin to say yes. We've got to begin to say yes. And you're going to need to figure out what your yes is and what your no is. But please know that the more you the more you're in the middle, the more you're in indecision is where you have a lot more anxiety. When we're in indecision, when we don't know, um, it, that's what causes us to be uncomfortable. That's what causes us to um, have that gut feeling, uh, that uncomfortable feeling. Okay, so there's the power of no also. Um, no is allowed. Here's I want you to hear this. No is a complete sentence. I want you to say no, and I want you to say it a lot. No is allowed and acceptable. No is not never. Okay? No is not maybe. No is not about being bribed. It's important. No is not a sin. No does not mean you will lose business. Saying no might be what you need to do to increase your business. What do I mean by that? There's a lot of people I don't coach. Okay? Um, there's people that I'm called to coach, and there's people that I'm not called to coach. And I, I know more and more the difference. I know it more and more uh, the difference. You know, I'm going to coach better if I'm coaching people that are in my line of sight, that are in my same, uh, you know, I coach only Christian people. Okay, so I'm, I can say no to all the other people. I, I coach women. I coach Christian women entrepreneurs. Um, I need you to give yourself permission. Somebody please type this in for me. I give myself permission to blank. I give myself permission to blank. What do you need to give yourself permission to do? Um, I, behind here, I have a sign that says, I am the trailblazer. I am the trailblazer. I have my little, I have little signs all around. I have signs in my kitchen. I have signs here. I have signs here. Uh, what do I, I am willing to experience. Uh, what am I willing to experience? I give myself permission to be, do what? I am the trailblazer. Are you the trailblazer? If you're the trailblazer, and you are, you are, and so I want you to type that in. If, you, if you're near your keyboard, I need you to type that in right now. Because I need you to own it. I need you to stand in it. I need you to get in there. I am the trailblazer. I am the trailblazer. I give myself permission. I am the trailblazer. What? Who are you blazing the trail for, my friends? Who are you blazing the trail for, Veronica? Who are you blazing the trail for, Edith? Who are you giving? Who are you blazing the trail for, Deidre, Jan, uh, Jill? Who are you blazing the trail for, Paula? Who are you blazing the trail for, Sabrina? And I, I'm trying to make sure I see everybody here, Veronica, Karen. Who are you blazing the trail for? And if you do not do it, guess what? 
God called you to do it. God called you to do it. God ca didn't call me to blaze the trail where you are. Uh, we can help each other. We can walk side by side. I can hold the torch for you when you fall down. I can help you when you, you, you know, we got to dust each other off and keep going down the road. I run marathons and half marathons. And you know what? We all have to get to the finish line one way or the other. We all get a medal at the end. But you know what? I'm going to be cheering uh, my sisters in Christ that are ahead of me. I'm going to be cheering for them. I'm going to be cheering for the woman next to me. I'm going to be cheering for the last person that comes across. Bye, Deidre. So glad you could come today. Um, the power of no is that knowing that you there's going to be things you're going to need to say yes to. And in order to uh, really clean up your life and tidy it and have transformation, there's going to be things you need to say no to. There's the power in the no. And I also, I brought this slide in because I wanted you to see this. There's levels of commitment. There's levels of commitment in our life. There's the do, there's the promise, there's the commit, there's will, intend, shall, may, I, I can, I could, I must, I have to, I need to, hope, I wish, I'll try. Yes, thanks, Paula. Um, we've got to, you know, are you in or are you out? Um, I believe that when you get married, you basically are saying that you're in. Amen? I believe that when you have a baby, you're in. You're in. You're in. So are you in your business or do you have your baby toe in? Okay? Do you have your baby toe in your business and you're wondering, why is it not working? Why is my business not working? And you've got your little foot in, but you're not in. Are you in? Are you in your business? Are you really doing this? Have you given up all the plan A, plan B's and C's and D's and all the plans, all the extra plans, okay? Uh, are you really, really in? And only you can decide. Only you can decide. So the next thing we're going to talk about today is self-care. Hi, Karen. So glad you're here. Self-care. I, I hope you're doing it. I'm uh, actually taking some of the uh, brave sisters that are already enrolled in my one-year brave program next week uh, to the, I call it the naked spa. So wait till you see the pictures of that. We're not posting the naked pictures, but um, self-care is critical, crucial, non-negotiable. You've got to have self-care. Uh, this is a picture of me last summer uh, at the beginning of one of those half marathons that I just mentioned. Okay, I run to take care of myself. What do you do to take care of yourself? Yeah, journaling. I take a bath every night. I eat chocolate. I go to church. I uh, go to my AA meetings. I meet with friends, I eat hamburgers, I do what I need to do, um, I get enough sleep, I eat things that are work for me. Self-care, you cannot give all of yourself away. You cannot give all of yourself away. Massages, pray, Oreo cookies, <laughs> that's awesome. So honor yourself, honor your God-given body, honor your, your God-given, um, you know, the people that God has given you in your life. Make sure you are not giving your entire life away and ignoring the people in, right in front of you. Make, right in front of you, okay? Hiring help. Okay, I'm going to call you out right here. I'm going to get real honest. Real honest. Um, a lot of you don't have the help you need, okay? And if, if this is uncomfortable, well, and, you know, just bear with me and type in the box. Deal with it. You've got to hire help. And, and I don't know what you think when I say that. I mean, I'm not talking about a cleaning lady, but maybe for you it is a cleaning lady. Um, you've got to hire help. Yesterday I met with my cop. Here's a, I have a whole team now. Did this happen overnight? Oh no. Oh no. This did not happen overnight. It happened bit by bit, person by person. But yesterday I met with my team, my copywriter, my virtual assistant, my graphic designer, and my blog editor. Guess what? I pay each of those people. I pay each of those people and I pay them every month. Um, did that happen overnight? No. But do you believe that um, those, each of those people are a part of how I'm able to do what I do? Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Do you think I could do what I'm doing with a rock bottom book, a conference, NACWI, Be Brave, if I didn't have people helping me? Oh, no. Oh, no. And a lot of the women that I know, probably some of you right here in front of me, do not have the help you need. So then you want, then, and you're afraid to hire the help. You're afraid, if you're afraid to hire help, please tell me right, right, right now. If you're afraid to hire a virtual assistant, a graphic designer, if you're afraid, I need you to say it right now. I need you to get real honest here, okay? Um, okay, well, guess what? Not afraid, just no money yet. Here's, here's what I need you to hear, and I'm going to say it right to you, Edith. You're going to be scared about the money, and you're going to have to go through it anyway. 
okay? Because the first time I hired my VA way back five years ago, I really thought, I can't afford this woman. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I was frightened to death, frightened, 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 frightened. And you know what? I had to do it, and it was because of her I was able to make money, okay? Um, I need you to hear that, okay? Um, because in, as long as you're still here and you don't hire this person, you're never going to move. You're never going to get out of there. Okay, I need you to hear that very clearly. And um, I, you got it's a, this is a be brave thing. It's a be brave thing. And some of you have done this. Some of you have hired help and you've walked through the fear. If you've hired help and walked through the fear, Karen has. Who else has? Um, because hiring help is going to it's it's going to scare you. So my first time I hired my VA, again, it was five years ago. She's been with me this whole time. God bless her. Um, but I remember emailing her like every couple days, how much money have I spent? And she'd send it back and it'd be like $100. And I'd be like, oh, my gosh. I mean, I felt like I had spent $1,000. I felt like I was going to like, you know, owe her every, every dollar that ever came in. But it wasn't true. Okay, it wasn't true. So who's going to be willing? Here, I need to just be very honest. Who's going to be willing to consider this, to pray over this, to think about this, to if you need to ask me questions later about this, I just need you to be willing to be willing. So if you're willing to be willing, type that into the box. Type it into the box, okay? Um, you know, we we ha we cannot do everything alone, nor should it. I should not be um, doing website design. I should not be doing graphic design. I don't have training in that. I don't have training that to, in that. I don't have training in, um, cre you know, building the website. Um, I, no, hello. Um, I am not a chef. I should not be in there trying to make a, make a dinner. Um, you know, hire the people that are good at what they do, okay? Um, be willing to be carried. Procrastination. Okay, let's talk about this. I'm, I'm really good at procrastination, okay? Um, is anybody else good at that? I'm really good at it. And I'm really good at, at um, I mean, I was, let's just get honest. I was finishing this webinar half an hour before we got started, okay? Um, that's how I roll. I'm at what's called a quick start. So I'm great at the last minute. You might not be. You might not be great at the last minute. This is my personality. I'm great at winging it. I'm great at going after it. But procrastination can be the death of your business. So you need to decide, you know, are you good at the last minute? What do you need to plan ahead of time? The bigger the event, so we're having our big conference in May. Oh, you better believe we've been planning for that since last February. Uh, we meet for that. We plan for that. We prepare for that. I get things ready for that. You know, we're three and a half months out. There's lots of things that are already way in process to be prepared for that, okay? So you check on yourself. You figure out whether you're procrastinating or not. And then you got to take action. Uh, one of my highest giftings in the Strengths Finder is Activator. If once you know your top five, I need you to own them. I need you to work with them. I need you to go after it. Um, action is going to make the difference. Action, you know, we can think, 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 and, and never get anything done. You need to take action. You need to take action with your business. You have to take be willing to make choices too. And what do I mean by that? Well. We all, again, we're going to go back to the 24 hours in a day. We all have 24 hours. Um, are you doing what you need to do? Are you What choices are you making hourly? Are you, I mean, I, have, I had to decide that every day I was going to commit to doing certain things to take care of myself. That was a choice. That was a choice. Um, so what are you doing to uh, choose? What are you choosing for your business? What does your Brave 2015 include? Does it include speaking in front of rooms like this? Does it include exercise? Does it include travel? Does it include, I mean, last year I got a new vehicle. What is your brave things? And these are choices. These are choices. When you say yes to one, you're saying no to another. Uh, okay, I want you to hear that. And are you going to raise a giant, um, are you going to raise your hands high above your head? <laughs> okay, priorities. All right, so again, each, you each have different lives and different priorities. You might have kids, cats, dogs, husband, you know, husbands, no, just maybe one. Um, you might have a home. You might not have a home. I don't know. But you have to decide, again, we're going to talk, we're talking the truth today about your time and your priorities and your transformation. If you don't deal with this stuff, your business is never going to succeed. Somebody, one of our past NACWI members sent me a private message just last night. This is one of the ones I didn't reply to. 
because I was honoring my own self and that I was out at a birthday party um, and I didn't want to answer. So there you go. Um, but the priority is that she was asking me um, that she realized her, she was asking me about money and money mindset. And I, I'm going to tell her the truth about that. Um, she basically realized that she'd made more money in her pro in her entrepreneur business than she had in her regular job, and she said she thought she was asking a question about that. Well, it's about our priorities. Um, are you going to make your business a priority in 2015, or is it going to be just your baby toe in the water again? What are you going to do? Are, I, again, what are you going to do? What is your uh, commitment? What is your commitment? If you had to sign on a document and make an agreement. What is your commitment? Uh, this is my Be Brave wall right over here and um, I'm going to do these things. I'm going to receive blessings. I'm going to go on a hot air balloon. I'm going to take a passport trip. I'm, I need to get my passport renewed. I'm going to blog 52 times. I'm going to go to New York in the fall. I'm going to sing on a stage and I'm going to uh, write my dating book that now is a love story. Some of you have been watching that evolve. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do this year that's brave? Wait, what choices are you going to make? Again, you get to decide. It's not your husband's fault. It's not your mama's fault. It's not the economy's fault. You don't live in the wrong town. Um, those are the, some of the excuses I hear. I hear excuses all the time. I mean, I, and I'm good at excuses too. But we got to, again, get over ourselves. Can you get over yourself? I know I'm being hard. I'm doing the tough love. Tough love training today. Tough love training. Power hour. Okay, let's talk about power hour. This is what my power hour looks like. It's a one page, and I'm going to tell you what's on there. Power hour, okay? Yes, over myself. Power hour daily checklist. So, what is a power hour? Actually, I learned this when I was selling candles. When I was selling candles with Party Light, they taught the power hour concept. And I, you know, I went back to this and thought, this is brilliant, people. This is brilliant. So 60 to 90 minutes, what would happen? I'm just going to say, what if? What if? What if you only had 60 to 90 minutes to work on your business every day? What if? What if you didn't have all day long? What if you didn't like kind of do weird stuff and shuffle papers around all day? What if you had 60 to 90 minutes only to do your business? What would you need to do? Do you even know? Do you know what you would need to do? Well, here's the truth. You, you each need to decide. On mine, I need to write during that 60 to 90 minutes. First of all, if you're going to do a power hour, you turn off all the gadgets. You turn them off. You turn them off. This one, that one, that one. You turn them off. You don't like let the, anything come in to distract that bubble. That's your boundary. That is your power hour daily checklist bubble boundary. So during that 60 to 90 minutes, you need, I'm, I need to write. That could be a blog. That could be an article, could be an email that needs to go out. Uh, I, it could be a newsletter. Okay, you decide. Um, I need to follow up. I need to follow up with potential clients, potential NACWI members, potential sponsors for the conference. I need to follow up because you know the, fo the fortune is in the follow up. Somebody write that, please. The fortune is in the follow up. The fortune is in the follow up. I also need to connect. And I connect with my um, circles of influence. What does that mean? You know, there's a whole lot of people that I know that are in circles of influence. And you know, here's what I need to tell you and be real honest about that. Uh, familiarity breeds contempt. Okay. Now that's going to make some of us uncomfortable. Um, but you know what? Once you're in the, like one little loop over and over again, everybody's used to you in that loop. They're used to you, and they actually kind of get um, they get sick of you. And we have to begin to get out. We have to go to new loops. We have to go to new loops. Bye, Jan. Have a great networking. The, we've got to get out and go to new circles. Okay? I, I hope you're really hearing me. Edith is brand new. She just joined NACWI in the last two days. She's brand new to this area. She's brand new to NACWI. She's brand new to lots of this. So she's in a brand new loop. Brand new loop. Um, Veronica is in a brand new loop with us as well. So we've got to connect and we've got to get out into these new circles and really begin to um, expand. We've got to expand our territory. We've got to update. So here's what that means for me. I need to update my income numbers. I write down every single dollar that ever has come in. Okay, Every single dollar that ever comes in. And I'm going to challenge each of you to do this. If you, are, are you keeping track of your money? 
Here's the truth, sisters. If you don't, what you keep track of, um, you 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 expand. Um, so here's the deal. I I keep track of every dollar that comes in. Um, for every, and so every single day of the entire year, I know right where I am year to date. If you do not do anything else from this entire webinar, I want you to do this. Okay? Who's who's going to do this or who is doing this? Let's get real clear here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Every single dollar that comes in, every every twenty-seven dollars, two hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. Keep it right in here. So I, I know exactly how much came in in January. I know exactly how much came in all of last year. Every single dollar, every single $20, every single $2,000. I need you to get very, very clear, and I need you to log it. Okay? Commit. If you don't commit, if you aren't making any money, guess what? You have a business. If, you don't, if you're not making any money, you have an expensive hobby, and you need to decide whether you're going to keep doing that expensive hobby because you're probably spending lots and lots of time on your expensive hobby. Okay? Um, so update, so what that means for me is I update my numbers, I look at my Facebook fans, I look at my email list, my YouTube views, like I said, I've got over 25,000 YouTube views on my videos, um, so keep track of that. Plan. Um, I plan. I plan for upcoming events, I plan for speaking events, I plan for emails that are going to go out, I plan for promotions that are happening. Plan, okay, and then we need to organize. Um, you need to organize. It could need to organize a part of your office. You could need to organize a part of your head. You could need to organize a part of your uh, client system. Okay, and then last, we have to celebrate. We have to celebrate, ladies. If we are not selling our, celebrating ourselves, give yourself a bravo. Give yourself a bravo for all that you are doing. You know, every day there's plenty to do. And if you don't celebrate a, a, an honor that you did more, you did a 24-hour experience. I celebrate every single day because you know what? I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have another gift of a day from my father. I'm grateful for that. Are you? Are you going to be grateful for what God has given you and use it wisely? Okay, so does that make sense? Anybody have any questions about the Power Hour Daily Checklist? Who's going to commit to doing some Power Hours? Who's going to make a commitment to doing Power Hour once a day? I, I bet you would be astonished, okay? If you did a power hour every single day, five days out of the week, five days out of the week, if you did a power hour, 60 to 90 minutes, whatever you can get done in that 60 to 90 minutes, I want you to go for it. Go for it. Okay. So we're running out of time. I need to rally around. T, this is the T-I-M-E. Ready? The T is for the truth. The T is for the truth. And the more you get honest, the more you get honest and you have the clarity in your business, and that includes keeping track of your money, keeping track of your time, keeping track of your power hour, keeping track of your clients. The more you have that clarity, guess what? Your business will, will build. Your business will build. And so the T in the, t in the time is about truth. You've got to get honest, ladies. Um, I get on the scale. This is a side note. I get on the scale every morning, and I keep track. I write down the number. I used to weigh over 200 pounds, 205 pounds, in fact. I don't weigh 200 pounds again because I take I, I do that. I honor my body. I listen to it. I used to weigh 122 pounds. So I've been on both sides of the spectrum. Been anorexic and then I've been uh, an overeater. And so I am in the middle. For me, I'm at a healthy weight for me. And that means I get to do some things. I get to eat. But it means I exercise. So that's for me about keeping honoring my own truth. Honoring my own truth. Okay. Um, the I in, in, in time is for invest. The I in time is for invest. We have to invest in the things that we, we want to build. You invest in your portfolio. You invest in your children. You make investments in things that you love and you care about, don't you? So are you investing in yourself? Okay, this is where we get really honest. Are you investing in yourself? Here's Karen, Sally, and Heidi. Um, they are they are part and they're missing is Hannah. These women invested highly, highly, highly in themselves last year, and they went through my six month training program to become NAPWI leadership leader in the big NAPWI leadership team. There's other women here in the room that went through my six week program to become certified group facilitators. Basically, are you investing in your own training, your own heart, your own mind? Are you investing in yourself, and are you willing to pay for that? You know, I pay, every month I pay highly, 
for my coaching, my copywriting. My, I pay highly for, I go to conferences. I, I fly to conferences. Um, do you believe that's changed my income? Yes. Yes, it has. And I hope that you're willing to invest in yourself. I hope that you're willing to do that. And it's for motivation. Guess what? Uh, as Zig Ziglar said, it's like a shower. We have to take one every day. <laughs> you don't just get one, one poofy, magical ma motivation experience and then on with your merry way. Um, that's why we go to conferences. And then it's like, well, what happens after the conference? That's why we're so excited about our, our membership now. With Like Veronica had and Edith. You have for the membership and the conference at, in the center of it, and so it's like you're not just going to a conference and, and nothing after. You have you have before, during, and after. Amen. But M is for motivation, and and the M in time. You've got to be around people that motivate you. You've got to be around people that inspire you. You've got to be around people that challenge you. You've got to have coaching that helps you to see clearer because we cannot see clearly by ourselves. We cannot see clearly by ourselves. Um, do you think it took me some motivation to write four books, five books? Yes. Do you think it took me some time? Yes. Uh, five books in five years? Uh, I think that's pretty nifty. I think that's pretty nifty. Did you, did it, I didn't set out to do that. I didn't set out to do that. I didn't set out to do that, ladies. I just took the next right step. I took the next right step. Can you take the next right step? Can you write your books? Can you, will you have a book come out this year? Let's say... Some of you already have books out. Who else is going to have their book come out this year? 2015. Who else is going to have their book come out? Who else is going to have their book come out? 2015. I've got, I'm going to have two. I'm going to have two come out this year. Come on. Come on. If you need coaching to get your book out, come. Uh, come, over, come on over. Uh, we, we, if you want to learn something here, let me get very clear. If you want to learn something and do something you've never done, Get a coach that has done what you want to do. Get a coach that has done what you want to do. That's what coaching is. It's, it, that's what coaching is. Uh, get a coach that's going to help you to walk to the next place. Okay, whether that's a book, uh, six figures, uh, which I made for the first time last year. I uh, thank you, Lord Jesus, um, for helping me to walk into those new places. Helping me to go to places I didn't know how to go to. It, you don't know how to go to some place until you've walked there. Amen? And until you, you walk there, you don't know what pit, pull, pit, pit potholes are going to be there. Okay? All right. It is for energy. I've got a lot of it. Okay? I've got a lot of energy, but you, you have plenty as well. Figure out what inspires you, my friends. Figure out what inspires you. Get your Superwoman cap, uh, shirt on and figure out how to get out there. You know, do you need more coffee? Do you need a better? You know, do you need a different coach? Do you need to be a part of a different group? Do you need? Uh, you know, you've got to get out and about. And you know, Superwoman doesn't sit at home on the laptop all day. Okay, um, she she's out. She's out doing stuff. She's out making mistakes. She's out saving that person. She's out talking to somebody. At coffee. She is doing some things. She is doing some things, and she is um, she is you. She is you. Go grab one of these shirts. They sell them at Target. Put it on. Run around your house. Take photos. You know, come hang. Come hang with me. Um, I want you to hear this. Brave is better when we are together. Brave is better when we are together. And you know what? I believe that we need each other. That's why I created NACWI. Um, I was sitting in uh, an office by myself in Wichita Falls uh, five years ago. I was sitting there, and I was like, I want to, I want to connect with my people. Where are my people? I felt alone. I felt overwhelmed. I felt confused. I didn't know what else I needed to do. I wanted to find you. And guess what? I found you. You're here. I didn't know any of you then. That makes me want to cry. I didn't know any of you then. Um, there's a few women in NACWI that are still here that were very first members, charter members that believed in me from the very beginning when I was a coach in a little office in Wichita Falls. Um, but Brave is better when we are together. I believe wholeheartedly we need each other I believe wholeheartedly that I can help you and you can help me do you agree do you agree that the more we help each other the better we do yes it's not about hurting each other it's about helping each other and there's plenty there's plenty to go around in God's economy there is no lack there is no scarcity there is plenty there is plenty to go around we do not need to hurt each other we do not need to hate each other 
We do not need to be jealous of each other. We do not need to do any of that because that only hurts every other sister in Christ. That only hurts every other sister in Christ. Okay, here's what I'm going to invite you to come join me with. Um, I am launching this. <clears throat> it's going out on an email in about a half an hour to my entire list. Come, bring your people. We're doing a five-day Be Brave challenge. Just go to BeBraveToday.com. It's a brand new website. We, we whipped this thing up in the last week, two weeks. Um, there's going to be cha uh, challenges every day. It starts next Monday, the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. Prizes every day, challenges every day. I'm going to have you step out, get uncomfortable, do crazy stuff, okay? So please, 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 please tell your people about it. Go get signed up ASAP. So signed up while we've been here on this call. And here's the bottom line, ladies. Just a girl who decided to go for it. Thanks, Paula. It is cool. Um, I'm, a, I'm a girl that decided to go for it. So are you. Okay? Let's get real honest. You know, we're all just doing what God has told us to do. Uh, you can, yeah, it's all online. It's all in the private group, Veronica. Yes, you can participate whether you're traveling, whether you're in Germany, Ireland, doesn't matter, France, um, Texas. So get have everybody sign up, okay? Um, you're just a girl that decided to go for it. Me too. Me too. You know, let's just keep going. Let's go for it, ladies. Let's help each other get there. Let's light the path. Let's find the flashlight. Okay? I mean, let's do this thing. All right. Let me get finished up. One day at a time, it really works. Um, I'm living proof. So are you. Let's do it. Let's just take this 24 hours and do the power hour. Let's tidy. Let's have some transformation. Let's, let's get out there. Let's change the world. Um, if you've had any ahas from today, I want you to share them. I, I, we're going to be finishing up here, but you can share them on my Facebook page. Share them in the, uh, just share the love. If you have experienced some love, guess what? God calls us to not hold and be stingy with our love. He calls us to share the love. Amen? So if you can share the love for me, share the love about Be Brave today. Invite people to join. Share the love about NACWI. Share the love about the conference. I cannot reach all your people. I don't know your people. So I need you to help me reach some of those other people. And then who do you want to follow up with from the Snack Week Cafe today? There's people here that are members, and there's people here that are not members. Um, if you're not a member, it's come time to come join us. If you are a member, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of our uh, family. Uh, the biggest mistakes I see, and I share this every single month because I want you to hear it, perfectionism, comparison, fear, and no action. Compa uh, so please, watch out for these things. They're going to hold you hostage. Remember, get out of your own way, ask for help, get support, be you. Join us as a member of NACWI. Our sisterhood is for you and about you. You can join for $197. Still, that's going to be going away. I want you to hear that very clearly. The $197 membership is going to be uh, going away because we're going to switch only to the $497 membership. And why? Why are we doing that? Because, because the $497 membership includes the conference. And it makes sense. It makes sense. So those of you that have just joined, you're in. You're cool. You've got it, um, and then we're going to be switching this over when our brand new website comes out, which is beautiful. Woo! Okay, so hang with me on that. Um, so get in now. Invite a friend to join you. Each one, reach one. Uh, we are here to support each other, to love each other. And then I want to invite you. This is only for a few people. This is for those that are really ready to be step into the brave. Um, I've got 10 more spots open. Uh, there's uh, two women that have already made the commitment, and that, those are the ones we're going to the Naked Spa next week. We, we meet. They have private coaching, mastermind days here at my house, VIP days. They have concierge access to me. So if you want to be one of these brave sisters, I mean, you're going to step it up. Um, this is a one-year program, and this is how you're going to coach with me. So please email me today if you're interested in this. Um, and I'm going to be sharing more and more about this. It, it's uh, closing down um, at the end of this month, so now is the time to step it up. And there's a couple of you in this room that really need to consider this, okay? Um, and so there you go. Remind yourself that it's okay not to be perfect. Ooh, we're out, we're out of time, and we're not going to be perfect. I believe in you, and I'm going to close this up in prayer right now. Father God, thank you so much for just giving us time to talk about time. Lord, thank you for calling us out. Lord, help us to be brave women. Help us to step out so we can shine the flashlight for others. Help us to be bold. Help us to be brilliant. Help us to stop hiding behind other women. 
And we do that sometimes by comparing ourselves. We do that by judging and saying, well, how, who is she to do that or who am I to do that? You know what? We need to stop. Lord, help us to stop. Help us to stop. Help us to just do what we've been called to do. And stop looking all around to see, well, what does she think? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Lord, help us to do what we've been called to do. Help us to surrender things that are holding us back. Help us to step forward with bold, bold action. Lord, we love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Yay! All right, ladies, thank you so much for coming today. I'm going to get this downloaded and uploaded, and I'll go meet you over on Facebook. Um, again, get signed up for BeBraveToday.com. If you're interested in coaching with me, shoot me an email, ASAP. Let's talk. Uh, let's do this, and um, I'll see you guys over on the other side, okay? All right, bye. Yay!